Hello everyone, it is me, Sonia Elsie here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have, you can probably tell, we have a mukbang video. So I am very excited. These are, um, what am I, is my foot? Can you see my foot? No, you can't. <laughs> These are probably my favorite videos to film um, just because, you know, I like eating, okay? I. <laughs> I'm a thick bitch, but you know, I enjoy food and I enjoy vegan food and I enjoy showing you guys the amazing foods that we can eat. So today we have some chicken Florentino. This is part of the skillet meal that uh, Gardein has recently released and I found out that they sell it at my Ralph's, but they put it not in the vegan section so I couldn't find it for so long because I just didn't look in the other frozen meal sections and I just happened to walk by the ice cream section. I looked over and I saw the Gardein bags just sitting up there and I was like, oh. This is about two of the meals worth. Um, probably could feed about eight people uh, according to the packaging. I feel like packages always lie though. They're always like, this feeds 10 people and I'm like, really? You know, but look at this. I also added some corn. And it's just so nice and creamy. And I put it in this lasagna dish because it was too big for a plate. It was like spilling all over the place. But it doesn't quite fill up this lasagna dish, which makes me a little bit mad, but it's fine. I wanted to talk about um, my experience being a vegan for, I think in March it'll be four years. And just the highs and lows and just kind of chat about that and yeah. Comment down below, guys, what you are eating. If you are eating something with me, uh, if you are not eating something with me, comment. Oh, God. <laughs> if you are not eating anything, comment what was the last thing that you ate down below. And uh, other than that, I would encourage you to grab a food, grab a drink, and eat with me so we can be less not, not lonely. You can pretend that you're eating with me and it's like so much fun. <laughs> mm. So I think in March end of March, it will be four years. And I just have to say that I'm very grateful to have stuck with it for this long. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I'm grateful for all of the amazing food that is in Los Angeles. Apparently, I saw one of my friends posted to their story that this is the seventh most vegan friendly city i don't know if in the u.s or in the world but something like that i was like okay sis mm. also this is from the reusable utensil set that i bought a while ago i'll link it down below if you want to buy it um affiliate links used so if you don't want to support me just search for it on your own <laughs> But, yeah, I, I think it has to be, it might be in the world, actually, when I think about it. But it's so cool every day seeing, like, so many vegan options being added. My experience being vegan, I want to talk about, so, I was initially inspired by my best friend, Stella go vegan we had kind of talked about joked about if I would ever be vegetarian because I was like a huge meat eater loved all that stuff you know and even to this day I still say that I didn't go vegan because I didn't like the taste of meat so basically I was joking with her about being vegetarian and I was like okay I'll try it for like I think I said a month or two weeks or something And I remember before that challenge, I was pescatarian for a month, which uh, was totally fine. Then vegetarian. I was the worst vegetarian. Like, not as in, like, I ate meat, but as in, like, I would be at the store just eating the unhealthiest shit, being like, it's fine, it's vegetarian. Oreos, baked goods. Like everything, I was just a sweetsaholic or I would eat the Hot Pockets that only had cheese in them. And so I decided I would try being vegan for a couple weeks. And I was scared 
to talk about it on YouTube. This is when I kind of started my YouTube channel. Because I remember I was so scared. I saw like a lot of the comments that um, my friend got. Like how strict they were, I guess. And that is what I was afraid of, I guess, was that, you know, I would go vegan and I wouldn't be that good at it or like, you know, I would still want to use up all my products that weren't cruelty free and stuff and that I would get in trouble for that. I'm just looking back, it's like, you know, I should have just explained my reasoning and not been scared of that, but for some reason I was. But I watched Cowspiracy and there's this image that stuck in my head of like a bloody udder and for some reason that like really messed with me it was just like like what? <laughs> that's uh that's really like when you think of dairy and stuff you know before if you are someone who doesn't know about it or doesn't know about the dairy industry you just think like oh you know cows on a farm whatever because that's how it's portrayed and um you know then when i saw the documentary and i was just like it's just crazy and i i don't know i watched like some slaughterhouse footage but i don't like to see that stuff too much i know there's a lot of people that will be like oh you need to watch this all the time i don't think you have to like <laughs> you know but it's a good it's a good reminder and motivator but i just don't think you have to be watching it all the time i don't think it's good for you but um yeah so that stuck with me and after that i was like you know what i'm gonna be vegan and overall i feel like i I feel like I feel pretty good. Um, I definitely don't think... Okay, so my approach to veganism, I have never ever been a health vegan. Like, I didn't... I honestly didn't change my diet a huge amount when I went vegan. Which I'm pretty glad about. Because I remember the first, maybe like one week of being vegan, I tried being high carb, low fat. And like cooking, you know, with vegetable broth instead of oil. And I literally cried. <laughs> like full on cried because I was like, I love the taste of food. Like food tastes like shit now. And I'm being dramatic. And if you eat high carb, low fat or, or you know, healthily, that's amazing. And do what works for you. But I literally cried because I, I remember I had a meal that was just pasta with tomato sauce. No vegan meat, no vegan cheese, not even veggies. Like I was just like, oh, this is, you know, what you're supposed to eat. And after that, I cried because I was like, I don't think I can do this. Like, <laughs> you know, I found this YouTuber. Her name is, okay, I've literally met her in real life and I don't know how to say her name properly, <laughs> but her name's Henya Menya. And I found her youtube channel and she and her boyfriend at the time were vegan and they had this thing called just vegan where they were like just eat whatever you want as long as it's vegan and i was like <laughs> this is revolutionary and i was so excited and it was just like I would so much rather eat food that's unhealthy or maybe I'm not gonna like have the biggest poop ever afterwards. That means it's gonna I'm gonna taste I'm gonna taste good. If it's gonna taste good, you know? So ever since then I've kind of just been um you know doing my thing eat my vegan food and it's been good I don't feel like veganism and it's probably because I don't eat you know the crazy healthy way 
it's definitely not the miracle diet that a lot of people claim that it is. I still have acne. I could probably lose some weight. I'm happy with my body weight, honestly. Like, I'm just saying, if I want it to be perfect, okay, I could probably lose some weight. But, no, it's been really good. And moving to LA, so many vegan options here. I still feel like I feel pretty good. Um, you know, I'm feeling good. That's not only better for me, but it's better for the animals and the planet. And I don't want to be someone that contributes to, you know, a lot of that crazy shit that goes on. You know, there's already a bunch of things I contribute to. You know, I have a computer, I have an iPhone. I have to use a car sometimes and that uses gas and like, you know, if there's something that I know that I can do every day, it's gonna make a difference, even if it's not huge. And if it's something that can improve one's health and, you know, I think, I think it's cool. But, um, yeah, I don't know. That's my thoughts, my update. Um, I did want to talk a little bit about so, I know that the carnivore community has found my YouTube channel, which I think is really funny. So, <laughs> I was actually talking to this guy, and who is literally the opposite of me. Like, he watches these carnivore YouTube channels. Like, I know, I don't. <laughs> and one of the carnivore YouTube channels messaged me, and I showed it to him, and he was like fangirling. I was like, but anyways, so <laughs> yeah, um, a few months ago, I was diagnosed with something called premature ovarian failure and a lot of the carnivore community just came into my comments and was just flooding it with, you know, the reason why you have this is because you are vegan. And... The super carnivore guy that I was seeing told me that too, which was so annoying. I was like, bruh, we're not at that level. Like, you can tell me that if we're serious, but not like, <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> but anyways, to explain without getting into like so much detail, it was determined that I was born with a low egg count, so my premature ovarian failure is due to me not having enough eggs, so my body is basically how the female reproductive system works, anyways, mukbang health lesson, um, <laughs> is, um, so you have a period because your body releases an egg into the uterus and excuse me if I get any of this kind of incorrect, but I'm just the gist of it and um, It's waiting, you know for a sperm to come in and be like yo Let's make a baby and when there's no baby And you have a period so I went to the doctor and I had a really high level of something called F S H follicle stimulating hormone um, Because my body was really trying to release this egg like just like yo Get that bitch out of there and there was there. I probably have like a few thousand eggs apparently which You're supposed to have like hundred <laughs> At my age you're supposed to have hundreds of thousands. So that's cool but yeah, so I Just my body was like please like release it and that's why I had such bad acne like because my body was like whoa <laughs> basically um, because I didn't have that many eggs, my body wasn't releasing them. I also found out that someone in my family suffered from this as well, so it was passed down genetically to me. It's not something that I caused by being vegan. I, and trust me guys, I asked every doctor. I asked the nurse that I talked to, I asked the gynecologist, I asked the endocrinologist, and I asked my primary care physician. Is there any way that me being vegan could have caused this? And they told me no. 
So I'm really going to trust them over people on the internet just reading the title of a YouTube video and being like, oh yeah, she's vegan, so, you know? And trust me guys, if veganism did cause this, it's something that I would be spreading everywhere. I would be like, yo, like, <laughs> this is something we need to talk about. But I was born with less eggs than you're supposed to have. And it freaking sucks, man. Like, <laughs> you know, hopefully someday I'll be able to have kids. For now, you know, I just take a birth control and it really helps. And that's one thing, like, technically, my birth control has a protein that is, I think, derived from eggs. Something like that. And I just think that it's more important that I diet-wise am completely vegan, all of that stuff. But for this one medication that I need in order to properly balance my hormones, you know, have that not be vegan, then th I'm not making any sense. But anyways, <laughs> I think I would still classify myself as a vegan, you know, and I think most people would agree. But yeah, so it was I it was so hard seeing all the comments though, like, cause I was going through. You know, when you're going through something that's just so hard and you're like, oh, I should share this, you know, hopefully so other people can feel better if they have this. And then to be reading like these paragraph long comments, like I had people claiming the craziest shit. I had people telling me like, oh, if I ate steak that my eggs would grow back. Like your, your eggs cannot grow back. Like I don't. I really don't understand. <laughs> mm. I'm not a doctor or anything, but a lot of people, I feel like if they are someone that maybe suffers from an eating disorder and they come to veganism to and use veganism to mask their eating disorder, that's a different thing and that can also cause a loss of period just because of how little body fat you have and how little like your body is able to produce the hormones that you need in order to have a period that that is something that can happen and i feel like a lot of times that's grouped with being vegan when it's not something that's caused by excuse me it's not something that's caused by being vegan it's something that is caused oh my god <laughs> it's something that is caused by a lack of eating enough nutrients and a lack of just eating enough in general. Sorry for this tangent I went on. I just like, it makes me really mad when people like, I don't know, that aren't your doctor. Like, I weigh, I way more trust the person that has seen literally the inside of my vagina and uterus, literally <laughs> over comments on the internet, you know? I don't know. That's just me, though. Oh, and also someone who has literally seen the exact, like, number things of my, um, the exact data for my blood work, you know? Mm-mm. But other than that, okay, other than my hormones literally, only the FSH hormone being effed in the butt, they told me everything was perfect and I was so surprised. Honestly, I was like, man, I was scared that my iron would be low because I don't really eat a lot of spinach and stuff. Like, <laughs> but no, apparently, okay. I think my friend was telling me this, that because I eat so much processed food, <laughs> a lot of that is fortified. So, I mean, obviously this is not the healthiest way to go, but you know, I'm, it's, it must be fine. Like, you know, I, <laughs> getting all my nutrients. Well, anyways, you guys, I'm full. It looks like I ate none of it, but I ate so much. 
Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble and stuff. Um, but yeah, I love you guys dearly. Thank you so much again for all the love and everything. Um, you guys are awesome. If you guys are not already following me, make sure to subscribe. Oh my god. Follow me on Instagram, sonya.lc. Check out uh, my vlog channel, my ASMR channel. And if you guys watched until the end of the video, comment. Oh, I don't know. I need something creative. A manifestation gang. Let's manifest a good 2020. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, love you guys. Bye!